Today we're going to make sketching dogs really easy, really easy, using constructional drawing. Um, and the idea here is we identify the key proportions and angles of dogs, things like where do their legs point, how many heads big is a dog. And this comes from the idea of proportions, proportions being the relative sizes of different things. So if we take a human, we might often have seen that a human can be split into seven heads. If you've got one head, then we have another three and a bit, which tends to be the, the sort of torso of our human, and another three and a bit, and then we end up with our feet. And if we stick to those proportions, even with simple shapes, we end up with something humanoid. And actually what happens with people like storyboard artists and cartoonists is they take that another level, they turn it into a mannequin. So the head isn't just a, a circle, it's a sphere. And that sphere has an axis. So we have this 3D object. The body then gets split into maybe a rib cage, which again is a 3D object, and a pelvis, which is another 3D object, just as simply as that. Legs might be attached to little spheres for hips and be cylinders. And so a human gradually emerges in this way that we can do from our imagination. And learning these proportions also makes it easier to observe proportions in real life. And what if there was some nice, convenient and easy way to do it with dogs? And of course there is, otherwise I wouldn't be here, would I? So the first thing you need to do to get your dog is just draw a box. Well, this is a, of course, a square. So we draw a square. Um, and then we split that square into three, both horizontally and vertically. So now we have nine different squares, all the same size. Each of these squares is about one dog head big. So one and one. Each of these is one dog head big, both horizontally and vertically. And now we can start finding our dog. So what we find is the head will be about here, sort of overlapping, another square, like so. There's our head, same as this, and it's about overlapping like that. That's our neck going up to the head, and we can draw the, the approximate shape of the head. The eye will be in the middle, it's one head tall, and then we've got the snout, and it sort of comes down to the neck. Pop in some ears, and perhaps we start to believe we might be about to unveil a dog. The thorax, the chest, this bit of our dog is just a square and a half, like so. And then this bit, the pelvis, is like a small square. We just make it a bit smaller. Then we can pop the feet in. So we got a foot which is just about here, sort of just in front of this line. We got a foot which is more like here, well in front of this line. And now we can start finding the legs. And legs are awkward because with dogs, if you get them facing the wrong way, so if they go forward, 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 it just, oh, it's broken dog, isn't it? Or backwards, backwards, forwards. No, which, which way do the legs angle? Actually, you'll find this is really, really key. And I'm going to show you how key this is um, shortly after we've done this little box. So what we need to do, we need to find firstly the hip here. And that's going to angle forward. It's going to be about a head big, so this is one head. Then we get the uh, the fine, that's going to be another head, and it angles backwards. Then we get the last bit, the sort of ankle bone, that's three quarters of a head, angling forwards. So we've got forwards, backwards, forwards. Then we come up here, here it's helpful actually, if we get our collarbone in. So we've got our collarbone in, and that helps us then anchor where our front thigh, if you like, comes, and that angles backwards. So it's the opposite, this has gone forwards. This one is now going backwards. Then this one comes forwards, and then it comes sort of forwards or straight down. And now we have our sort of skinny, odd dog, or, you know, a dog emerging from our page anyway. And all we need to do now is take these boxes and start curving them, start making them smoother. Uh, so, simple way to do that is just start imagining the muscles of a dog. So we kind of got this girdle of muscle here. We've got this girdle of muscle here, haven't we? These legs, just so you can also just imagine like a chicken wing. We've got these legs which get narrower and narrower as they get to the bottom. Same here, these legs getting narrower and narrower just as they descend down to the bottom. 
dogs have this quite uh, big chest which angles up a lot so we smooth that out and we smooth that down as well over the top we can just give it a nice curve just big gestural lines and of course a lovely tail and now doesn't it look exactly like a dog of course it does a bit but there's something missing and that is the shape so if we draw a circle a circle's just a flat 2d shape until it comes alive with some shadow and shadow is what provides real 3d shapes if i hatch in gradually shade darker and darker or because i'm using water soluble graphite i can actually cheat and i can this is just like using watercolors really you can just suddenly create something really very 3d from these simple marks we have a 3d sphere from these simple marks we have a 3d dog so if i just start by just using my water because what the water will do will get rid of some of those constructional marks we've been making which we don't necessarily want to be still super evident they they look fake because they are fake they were how we imagined the dog not really the actual finished item but already hopefully you see that dog is coming to life a little bit more now we can just add in key details a little bit more hatching so getting those really dark areas and where's dark well under here under the chest under where the the thigh goes all this is dark then there seems to be a bit of darkness here at all the sort of joins of our dog all the all the joints some under here behind the ears also little bits of simple hatching this hatching also provides perhaps if you want it to it can provide little bits of extra texture to start getting that idea of fur and now yes it's very simple but certainly something very dog-like is emerging and looking fairly elegant and from this from this simple model we could just keep working just keep working or we can use it to familiar familiarize ourselves with the kind of doggy shapes and suddenly i hope you'll at least believe that you can start to work out what we've actually done so what we've actually done is we've got a dog who's got a chest and a pelvis and a head and a tail and then legs which are just bending in all the right ways so they go forward back forward back forward forward and now look we've got a dog so we could have a dachshund now because we've got these shapes we could have a dachshund it's not about necessarily the proportions they've just got very little legs haven't they so now we've got a little dachshund and they've got a long head really long head and big ears perhaps we've got a, a bulldog bulldog's got a big nose and a flat head and then even we can start imagining a little bit of perspective coming in so we've got the legs which go and i often have to remind myself we go forward back forward forward back forward and then here they go back forward forward and a little tiny little tail for our sort of bulldoggy dog and we can make more of the nose and the jowls and the eyes and just like that using this very simple model we can start constructing dogs which aren't just a single proportion don't just have one look about them but in fact have all sorts of different looks and when you start identifying the shapes that's when you can take it to the next level i could have my dog facing away so i can go right well the shape's going to be the, the bottom can i see past the bottom i can see the chest which is lower like the chest is a bit lower than the bottom i can definitely see the top of the head and those lovely ears um, and i can see the tail then i can see the legs so now i've got this dog facing away from me a very quick sketch very sort of constructional sketch of a dog facing away from me but nonetheless definitely a sort of dog shape and there you go that is all there is to it we can go from these very simple constructional models to identifying the abstract shapes and if you want to keep working in it if you want to keep improving the realism what you need to do is just work on the, the hatching work on the specific features of specific dogs get your bulldog looking more and more real um, and you can take it on and on and on but this is the starting point to really understanding how to draw dogs
So thank you everyone for watching my little sketching videos. If you enjoy my content, please do subscribe to my channel because it makes me really, really happy. Thanks again.